Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Archangel Michael message or messages for October into November 2024 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aries. We're going to pull the cards first. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. October into November. These are mainly messages, these readings as well. It is one of my favourite cards, the Six of Swords. Whatever is going on here, energetically it feels the worst is behind you and you're moving forward to better times. So with that, we have the Two of Swords. Page of Cups, another page, we have the Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands, Bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. The King of Swords uh, can be your energy, getting to the very heart of the matter, clear decisions, choices, clear communication, seeing things clearly, very rational, logical, intellectual energy, male or female. It can also be somebody who is like that in terms of those qualities. Let's pull an extra card for the Six of Swords. What do we have for Aries? Six of Swords. What do we have for Aries? Six of Swords, thank you. So I've got the Eight of Swords and I've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles can be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female, or the energy of the card. Can be very powerful in terms of health, healing and abundance. Let's see what we have for you with the Archangel Michael message. What do we have for Aries first deck? Message for Aries. We have number 30, step into the spotlight. You have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. With that Aries, we have number 39, you are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. Let's see what we have for you as the second deck. What do we have for Aries? There's three cards here, but they come out for a reason. So there is that forward movement here, Aries. But also a sense, well, I'll come to the cards in a moment. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for, my, for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. We have spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Some advice for you in the next month or two. We have write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing and healing. Yeah. 
there is, there is something that you're moving forward on and also a path that you're not moving forward on anymore. So the, and it could well be because you're making healthy changes. I mean, you could see that the Queen of Pentacles can be to do with uh, health and healing in terms of relationships, can also be, um, and that can be any kind of relationship. It can be love romantic, it can be um, friendship, uh, sometimes family. You know, the same energy applies. But the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, it feels like there is something that you're not moving forward on anymore. Now, you could also see this in a money career finances energy. Sometimes we feel a bit stuck and we don't see that there's any progress on a path. The same energy applies because it's teaching you something. It's kind of making you consider now as some kind of crossroads, what do I do next? Even though there is some decision, sometimes it's a difficult decision. The energy here is you really have to think less and feel more. Your intuition will know best in terms of how you decisively move forward. This is someone who is stuck at a crossroads. What do I do? Sometimes things are difficult to face. Sometimes we put things off and say, oh, I'll look at it tomorrow. I'll deal with this the next week. Sometimes we keep ourselves stuck for whatever reason. But in this energy, it feels like you're coming to the conclusion that it's time to face something intuitively that you know you have to face. And Spirit is telling you when you get that clarity and it's an intuitive clarity, move forward fearlessly. Free will uh, for this reading. Because the Six of Swords, just like I said at the beginning, the Six of Swords is the worst is behind you. You're putting the worst behind you. But it can be a transitional energy, detaching from what was to what will be. It's a card of healing, moving in the right direction, moving from A to B. It can be about putting difficulty behind you, leaving something that has been challenging and difficult behind you, and moving towards the karma shores. Uh, but you're heading towards better times. Uh, so this is the energy at play here. It also affects us mentally, energetically as well. The shift is also in our energy too. So it can be changing job, moving from what was difficult to potentially a new job. It can be to do with moving or relocating home. For some of you, there could be travel involved as well with the Six of Swords as well. I think that you're stuck, but deep down you know that something has to be faced. There's a message here. I think that you should walk away, Aries. Somebody is saying that to you. This is a loving message. The Page of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Uh, somebody is probably giving you advice here, and it's a message from the heart. Maybe helping bring clarity to your situation. I think that there is somebody that you are talking to here, having a conversation here. This can also be the Knight of Swords to get clarity on how you decisively move forward here. This is somebody who is giving you the benefit of your, their experience, telling you, and it could be this King of Swords. Um, for others of you, it could well be, you know, somebody that you're connecting to, somebody who's connected to your heart, a trusted advisor or counsellor in some way, who, um, who is pretty much telling you, I think it's time to walk away, Aries. I think it's time to walk away and go in search of something better or it's time to walk towards something better if something better has already appeared. It really depends coming into this reading if you've already taken action but you're stuck in terms of what to do because something has become too much of a burden. Now, the Ten of Wands can be an experience. You could have that in terms of relationships, where you live, a work scenario. Something has become too much of a burden. It can also be for me as a reader, sometimes when we feel like we're hitting a glass ceiling but we're not getting any further, yet we do all the work. We do more than our fair share of the work. You could be over-delegated to, um, taken advantage of or feel that. For others of you, this can actually be if you are... Uh, sometimes it can be practical things like the, the journey to and from work is too much or the hours you could find yourself... Uh, the demands on your time it are dominating your life and you don't get to do much else. You get up, you go to work, you come home, you go to sleep. It can sometimes be that kind of energy where 
you want better balance in life. So whatever is bringing this to you here, Aries, there's a new path here. This King of Swords could be influential in that or advising you to take a new path. The Page of Wands starting on a new, new path, liberating from everything that's gone before. And like I said, this could be relationships, your environment, like where you live. It could also be to do with... Uh, it could also be to do with a work situation. The Page of Wands can be an exciting new path. Uh, starting on a new path where you see a brand new adventure before you. Something that holds real potential. It energizes you. You feel that sense of new passion and excitement on a new path as well. This is what's available to you here. This King of Wands is somebody either involved in this situation here, Aries, who might be advising you, guiding you, or bringing you the new path. Uh, either way, this can also be somebody in authority, somebody who, who has that kind of real bird's eye perspective on a situation as well. So very good in terms of advising people, uh, but can also be somebody in authority, a leader, even in business, uh, somebody who stands for what's right, what's true, or might tell you what the right thing to do is from their perspective. So it looks in this situation, this person is linked in some way in directing you to a new path. And it's about moving on from what was to what will be. And spirit is indicating that there are better times to come. I always feel with this kind of energy, the best is yet to come because you're moving towards the karma shores and the worst is behind you. You're moving away the thing that has troubled you, that has caused you the burden and you're lightening the load is what I have for you here, Aries. Let's finish off by pulling you a message from Spirit. What do we have for Aries? Such a fresh new energy as well. Uh, just ready to kind of embrace the new in such a very positive and f it, it is that kind of fresh, uh, breath of fresh air kind of energy coming into your life. Maybe having felt a little bit stagnant in the situation that you were in, but what you're walking towards is far better. The Eight of Cups always walks towards the Nine of Cups, greater happiness, fulfillment and abundance. I also want to say energetically, if it's not physically walking away, because we can look at this in terms of things like friendships as well, if this isn't physically walking away from someone, then it might well be an experience with another person or individual. For example, it could be friendships, it could be a social group, it could be um, a community kind of thing. I mean, however that would manifest for you. This would also be about something has become too much. And it might well be that something happens here that happens here by another person's actions and it becomes the final straw that makes you almost remove uh, remove yourself from that person's... You're turning your back on that situation energetically. You're removing yourself from that person. And again, it could well be somebody who is giving you advice here. But there's that sense of withdrawal, withdrawing your energy, uh, withdrawing your, your time, withdrawing your focus, and potentially cutting cords. All right, what do we have for Aries? Uh, we're going to pull a message from Spirit to finish this reading. What do we have for our lovely Aries? Thank you. Stay connected. We are all born connected to Spirit, often known as the Divine Source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time for you to reconnect to the Source. also looks a bit, you know, when I look at that picture, it looks a little bit like a helping hand as well, asking you'll receive kind of energy. We have, have fun, stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? So something totally unlike you, something just for the joy of it. 
it's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Some advice for you there. Aries, that's what I have for you as your Archangel Michael messages for October into November. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month as always. I'll see you next time.